Greetings everyone. In today's class, I will be discussing Bombay blood group. So to understand Bombay blood group, we should understand the inheritance of A, B and O antigens and H antigens and the genetics behind it. Genes are three separate loci control the occurrence and location of ABO antigens. Presence or absence of A, B and H antigens on the red cell membrane is controlled by H gene. Presence or absence of A, B and H antigens in secretions is indirectly controlled by S, E gene. So H gene has two alleles, capital H and small h. Small h is an amorphous allele which means it is not expressed. S, E also has two alleles, capital S, E and small s, e where small s, e is amorphous and A, B, O genes have a, B and O alleles. So coming to H antigen, so H gene codes for an enzyme fucosyl transferase. So that adds the sugar fucose to the terminal sugar of the precursor substance. So what is a precursor substance? It is a basic structure which is formed on an oligosaccharide chain and it is composed of proteins and lipids. So this is the basic structure. On this precursor substance, the H gene with the help of the enzyme fucosyl transferase will add fucose. So H antigen is the foundation on which A and B antigens are built. A and B genes code for an enzyme that add an immunodominant sugar to the H antigen. So immunodominant sugars which are present, it will be specific for A or B antigens. So this pictogram shows RBC precursor substance. So this is the precursor substance which stays same in all blood groups. Now formation of H antigen, so H gene, what will it do? It will transfer fucose with the help of fucosyl transferase. So in this precursor substance, this fucose is added. Now this becomes an H antigen. Now coming to A and B antigens, the A gene codes for an enzyme transferase that adds an acetyl galactosamine in the terminal sugar of H antigen. So N acetyl galactosyl transferase is produced by the A gene which will transfer N acetyl galactosamine to the terminal sugar of the H antigen. The B gene will code for an enzyme D galactosyl transferase which will add D galactose to the terminal sugar of H antigen. Let's see how this happens. So we have seen this is the H substance or H antigen. So precursor substance with fucose H antigen. Now an acetyl galactosamine will add be added at this particular end in A antigen. In B antigen to this H substance D galactose is added by the help of enzyme D galactosyl transferase. So this is particularly B antigen. So the terminal sugar is different in both A and B antigens. So on group O red cells, there is no A antigen and there is no B antigen. However, the membrane still expresses H antigen. So they do not have the specific sugar molecules which will define them as A or B, but they still have the H substance or H antigen. So H is a precursor for both A and B antigens. Without this H precursor, A and B antigens will not be expressed. So usually A and B persons have less H substance when compared to O blood group substance. Now A, B and H substances, they are found in all body secretions except in CSF in almost 80% of the individuals. And ability to secrete these substances in the secretions is determined by the presence of gene called SE gene. 
when it is present in homozygous or heterozygous state s s capital e or s and small s state so how the secretion secretor status will look like for blood group o it will secrete h substance blood group a will secrete a and h substance blood group b will secrete b and h substance blood group ab will secrete a b and h substance and oh that is absence of h antigen that is bombay blood group will have nothing in their secretions so what are the characteristics of a bombay phenotype it was first reported by bede et al in bombay in 1952 and estimated frequency is about 1 in 7600 in bombay absence of h a and b antigen is the characteristic with no agglutination with nt a nt b or nt h lectin presence of nt h nt a or nt b in the serum so serum will have these antibodies and there's no a b or h substance present in their saliva no secretor status and it is incompatible with any other blood group and compatible only with bombay phenotype it has a recessive mode of inheritance means identical phenotypes have to be inherited from both the parents and it will be expressed in children but not in the parents when bombay blood group was first encountered it was found not to contain a and b antigen so it was thought that it is a o blood group but on further evaluation it was found that they lack h antigen and that is the reason they could not receive a normal transfusion with o blood group there was hemolysis genotypically there is absence of h antigen capital h antigen is absent so inheritance of small h alleles these are amorphous as we discussed earlier so small h alleles are there at the h locus this genotype do not produce h carbohydrate which is the precursor for a and b antigens both parents must carry the recessive allele to transmit this blood group to their children patients with this blood group should be transfused with this blood group only otherwise there will be hemolysis and it may lead to death so how to detect this blood group it can be detected by serum grouping or reverse grouping that is we try to identify the antibodies which are present in the serum so we find nt a nt b and nt h antibodies so these can be detected then nt h lactin or nt h serums are now available commercially which can be used to identify bombay blood group so the most important thing that one should remember is bombay to bombay so person with bombay blood group can donate blood to people with bombay blood group only and they can receive blood from people with bombay blood group only so transfusion has to be from bombay to bombay so what if you have this blood group first of all we should all know what our blood type is blood grouping is important if it is o group then we must be sure that it is not bombay blood group persons with this group should be very cautious and alert they should register themselves with leading blood banks or hospitals so that in cases of emergencies they can be contacted and it has been proposed to preserve few units of such blood group in frozen state that is called as cryo preservation for acute emergencies and uh, this is a rare blood group so during elective surgeries autologous blood transfusion can be done that's all for today thank you